not only hurts the people there, but also families and community members here in our country. And that includes our part of the country. News 13's Jackie Labrizzi spoke this afternoon with a local rabbi who talks about how he has been impacted. Rabbi Avi Peretz here at Temple Emmanuel says he still has family in Israel. He says his seven year old niece told him that she was scared and he adds hearing sirens, alarms and explosions every day isn't and shouldn't be a normal thing. Rabbi Peretz says Hamas is launching missiles wherever they can and says Hamas thinks more blood and more dead Israelis is considered a success in their eyes. He says he thinks Iran is the source of evil and is the one funding multiple terrorist organizations. He says in order to destroy Hamas, the Israeli military will need to go in and clear the area of the terrorists. He adds this could take a long time, especially now because they have more than 150 hostages. The rabbi reminds us those currently kidnapped are babies, children, grandparents, and even entire families. Rabbi Peretz says that 75 years ago, Jewish people fought for their survival during the Holocaust and they won. But once again, they need hope. The Israeli national anthem is Hatikva, which means the hope. The Jewish people, even though went through so much, you know, troubles in our history, we were always hopeful. So with the help of the American people, with the help of the Jewish people and many supporters in the Christian community, and of course with the help of God who inspire us, we will win. Temple Emmanuel says the city of Myrtle Beach has offered to provide more security as a result of the attacks and they're thankful for the city's support. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13. And there are multiple ways you can donate to help Israel during this challenging time. And we have charitable options on our website, WBTW.com.